Hello everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Resistance 3. Last time, we had to go through the town to get to the mines here, because we had a shit ton of... Shouldn't even be saying that, but... We had a ton of Grims and Leeches to deal with, respectively, and Leapers. After some fighting, we finally got to the power station, to the mines here, and we found Jonathan... And we also got a new weapon, the cryo gun. Uh, Jonathan explains that he wants to kill the creature that lives in the mines, this giant creature of some kind, and he doesn't want to return until it's dead. And so today, we're going to help him with that. So we got to open the door here, but if you want to take a moment to look around, see what's around, then yeah. But there's nothing here. There's an elevator here that leads to the mines. That's where the creature lives, deep in the coal shafts. When the Chimera first came, it was hard to keep folks' spirits up. I'm not gonna lie, my own faith was tested a time or two. These are dark times, friend. Our town needs to get back on its feet. Getting rid of that creature is the first step. Dang, power's down. Let's check the breaker. I'll just flip this switch, then we'll be back in business. Uh-oh. Looks like the relay fuses went bad. Trees. Leeches. God help us. I'll fix the fuses while you hold them back. Come on, this way. Alrighty. This way. Up the stairs. We're gonna have to deal with a lot of grims and leeches, but... We got a fancy new gun to take care of it. Watch my back while I replace these fuses. Oh. Oh, it's already frozen. Hey. Get off me. Thanks. I kind of wish I had my atomizer. Jonathan, do me a favor and help. You okay, no, I'm not okay. Just a few more seconds. Got it. There's one more fuse box on the ground floor. Come on. There should be, hopefully, some health and, yeah, other stuff nearby I can use. Better use my cryo gun. They give it to you for a reason.
Yeah, those things screech for quite a while. Hold on, I'm coming, Jonathan. And we go. Hey, too bad you came in just a little too late. Just as David said to the Philistines, I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. God is with us, friend. He's gonna help us kill this son of a bitch. Oh, maybe you should have not called him that. He knows we're coming for him. I should warn you, this thing is one mean son of a gun. A group of our best hunters came down here a while back. Twelve men, well armed, knew these mines better than me. One of them made it out alive. One. Damn thing took his left arm and half his left leg. And he counts himself lucky. Satan. Okay, let's see. Mine's been locked up for months. Keys are lost. Take a look at that storage room over there. See if you can find anything that might help us get through these doors. Well, let's find out. Well, bullseye. Check the storage room back there. Hmm. Acetylene tanks. Good idea. Drop one next Acetylene to the Acetylene tanks. All right. Just put in a an acetylene tank near whatever you want to blow up. Then get your bullseye or one of your other weapons and. A bluey. Those tanks might come in handy against the creature. Come on. Put your head down. Some of these tunnels ain't been reinforced yet. Stay low. Watch yourself. Another locked door. You know what to do. Yeah, I know what to do. So do they. Open up. Oh, surprise! Yeah, Bullseye is weirdly not that very effective on these guys. That's why they want you to use the Rossmore or the Atomizer on them. I'm only using the Bullseye to preserve ammo. Alright, let's throw the tank. And it should be. Well, uh, nah. I'll put it closer just in case. Quick, Let's move. I can smell it. We're close. You can smell it. It probably smells bad. Whoa there. That was a close one. Keep moving. Try to keep quiet. Let me look around before we uh, press on. Marksman. Alright, let's go on through. Whoa! So, you're Satan! Whoa! Go for its eyes! Time won't be so easy. Come on, let's keep on it. Can't let it get away. Here, let's read up on Satan real quick. Well, he is a feral. This feral monster is the product of years of incubation in the coal mines of western Pennsylvania. 
It is a biological and evolutionary mystery. Species evolved in coal mines, caparse infused with coal molecules, and penetrable outer shell. Mole molecular structure could be harder than diamond? Is this possible? Eyes sensitive to light potential sensitive to light potential weak spot tentacles extend several meters yeah it's probably a leaper that somehow evolved we're safer in the smaller tunnels these big caverns make me nervous yeah well that's a dead end It's here. It's angry. Damn. Looks like we'll have to move these supports. You think you can lift them? And nice. let me at it. We might just have a chance to beat this thing. Come. There it is. Run. To the smaller tunnel. Into the smaller tunnel. Hurry. All right. Into a smaller tunnel, and can't Satan can't get you. But that does. That doesn't mean you should just stay and gawk. Oh. Hold on. Run. Keep running. Just Back. run. Don't stop. It's trapped. Yo, but it's too small for me. I told you God was with us. Come on. If you say so. Finds a way around. Thank you, friend. Gotta get out of this cabin. Find the smaller tunnel. Come on. This thing knows the mines really well. It's here. Quick. Did it just summon some grims? Let's get in quickly. Uh, we better move. I think it's going to bust its way in here. Hey, go away. We got enough problems as it is. Get rid of Let go of him. Just shoot its eyes. Acetylene tanks? Perfect. Oh, okay, so yeah, when it's blind, get an acetylene tank, and then... It's up to us to kill Satan. So yes, whenever you fight Satan, blind it for shoot it enough in the eyes to blind it, and once it's and once it's blind, you can then um, it's a dead end. Once it's blind, you can then uh, throw an acetylene tank at it. Hmm. I guess we just go through one of the tunnels. Uh, what's this way? It's a dead end. Yeah, I don't need marksman ammo. Got plenty of bullseye ammo.
that's nearby. Better get my bullseye ready. Yes, this was. These were the guys that Jonathan talked about that tried to take on Satan. Uh, uh, you didn't see me, Satan. I was in here. I right, just want to make sure I got its attention. All right. You just gotta run and duck and cover within the smaller tunnels. Make sure. Yeah, make sure Satan is digging at the little tunnel you go through before you leave and head for the next one. Because you don't want to try and run out quickly and then it still keeps chasing you. Just keep running. Gotta run up the stairs. Gotta run up the stairs. It's coming. It's coming. Ow! It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. He's coming. Oh, come on, minecart, come on. There. It's moving. Eyes. Go for the eyes. Get as much distance as we can. Don't even bother wasting your wildfire on it. Focus on using either your bullseye or marksman. Hi, Satan. Too ugly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those claws do a lot of... Okay, he's blind. Um, a lot of stuff here. Where's an acetylene tank? Ow. Hungry? gonna pull itself in. There you go, big guy. Smile! You ought to have enough to get you straight through to New York. Do us one more favor, will you? Of course. Pray for us. Thanks a lot. Now we got a surefire way to get to New York. Joseph. I have made many poor choices in my life. Colvin, Daedalus, Hale. I'm responsible for some horrific things. You and me both. There is very little chance we will succeed in New York City. 
Four years ago, Serper tried to attack the tower. We lost over 1,000 men. I'm afraid you may never see your family again. I know. But we're doing our best, right? Yes. Yes, and we may still have a chance. I have been thinking. The Chimera are perfect killing machines. But they have no thought beyond what the hive mind tells them. We can defeat them, but we must be creative. They're unpredictable. We must use their power against them. This is bad. Listen up. We're taking this train and everything on it. You stop it now, and nobody gets hurt. We will not stop. You have no right. You want to do it the hard way? Okay by me. Light them up, boys. They are following us. The wardens. Animals, Joseph. Murderers. Keep them up. The M5A2 Carbine, or just the Carbine, the standard issue assault rifle used by the United States military during the initial Chimeran invasion. Effective at medium to long range. More accurate when fired in short burst. Fires .303 caliber rounds at 750 rounds per minute, and its secondary fire fires one 40mm grenade. The first upgrade gives it a bayonet, so it makes melee attacks more powerful and killing. And you get extra grenades with its second upgrade. A little strange that we get to this point in the game and the carbine is our next weapon, but... As we all know, when I played Resistance 1 and 2, the carbine is your trusty gun. Be it either your carbine or your bullseye. Even though they're the standard weapons you find at the beginning of the game, they pull through and do get the job done. Alright, I'm going to stop here, though. So, let me check the journal and read up on these guys. Say, humans, the warden, or wardens. These homicidal humans were once in prison for serious crimes but have now escaped and created their own community of thrill killers. They survive by sticking together and by taking advantage of any other survivors they find outside the prison walls. They use a variety of weapons to satisfy their desires. They use various weapons of different kinds. Beware of the rushing mobs. Use grenades to disperse them and just use any sort of like Oh, you can read the full thing, though. Prison is controlled by a group of men, loyal to Mick. They are called the Wardens. These guys are the most ruthless and cruel. Um, uh, I can't read after the cruel. Cruel at the top of the food chain in Mick's chaotic hierarchy. Some of the Wardens with weapons seem to eat better than the others. Plus, they are also very angry looking. They uh, carry flashes with booze. Escape. Planned. Yeah, lots of... The Appalachian Mountains, that's where we're at. So, we're pretty much passing through. Yeah, we've not been finding a lot of Melenkov's journals. Uh, let's see. And weapons and grenades. I read on the carbine. Yeah. I'm surprised it doesn't have anything on the airfield grenade. I mean, I know it's a DLC pre-order bonus, but you think it would have its own entry here. 
Alrighty. Well, that will do for this episode of Resistance 3. Join me next time as we fight off the Wardens from attacking our train here. We gotta keep them off the train and try to hope to God we can get through this. So that is it, and I will see you guys next time.